start and we are live so now let, let's then go to uh, YouTube and hello guys welcome to another episode of Xar talk show and today we have a guest with me uh, he is Israel Dove. Did I pronounce that right? Dove or Dove? Well, it's kind of complicated. There's a bunch of different Irish dialects. So, um, I can't tell you what you spoil with a Y, not like the way you call the thing. Uh, with a Y? Yes, you spoil. Yeah, uh, say it again. Use well. Use well. That's how I would say it. Okay. It's kind of you, like Y O U, right? Use well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, Dion. That's how I would say it. So if you ask the people to speak uh, what they call mother Hebrew, they would say completely different. Oh, I see. So that's a Hebrew name. Yeah. What about the dove part? Dove or dove? Uh, dove. Uh, yeah, again, it, it depends on the dialect. Uh, there's a Korean dialect, uh, but I don't know if that's actually the right uh, name for it. Uh, dialect, sorry, right? Uh, I would call it dove. Okay. But, uh, dove. Let's say modern Hebrew would say dove, and it means bear. A bear? Oh, I see. That's why you have a bear uh, icon. <clears throat> yeah, I, I always wondered about th that. Th that bear rem reminds me. There's an ice cream. Uh, 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 ice cream. Uh, uh, you know, you know. There's an ice cream in USA where you have a white bear. Uh, ice cream uh, mascot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see. I was wondering if that's intentional, but okay. Anyway. With a right. I see. Right. Um. Oh, I was going to. So so Dion Dion says we got some reverb. That's uh that's uh, the error on my part because I always got that when I turn on the audio. Uh. Well, I guess we'll just. I uh, have to go with that today. <laughs> so, so let's talk about hope you actually yeah. So, uh, what should we talk about? Uh, 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 Jewish Jewish culture or uh, Hebrew the language something like that. But but but. <laughs> okay, so. I, are you able? Are you watching the video as well? Are you able to see it? Uh, I, I don't think that I'll be able to do both because I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't have at home, okay. So. Yeah, I I should have the uh, I should have done the screen so you can see my screen, but. Uh, I, I see. Uh, so well, yeah. So okay. So let me maybe I ask you questions then. So uh, um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. So I, I was watching some of your videos. Uh, you had uh, the last few is about Hebrew in Emacs. Right. Yeah, you, you know. So Hebrew is from uh, right to left. Right. And. Yeah, I know. Uh huh. And then all of a sudden it turns around the other way. Yes. Yes, yes. 
I know that. Yeah, because I've I've tried to um, you know, I have I I haven't tried with Hebrew, but I've tried you know the uh Arabian uh alphabet. Uh, yeah, because I was trying to uh, put the Arabic uh, title for Arabian Nights, you know, the one hundred and one thousand and one nights, <laughs> and and so in Emacs, you know, the direction goes, you know, like on the when when it's on the part of English, you know, it's uh, left to right, but then it suddenly jumped to the other end, so that was very confusing. So so you are saying that. Uh huh. I see. So, yeah. I see. So, so this kind of this thing. I mean, does this uh, happen in other word processors, or is it just in Emacs? Oh, it's. A, oh, oh, I see. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I know what you're saying. So let's go to. Uh, let actually let's just go to. I'm um, typing. Go to YouTube. Emacs is great. Uh, so, you know, so so people can see. <laughs> yeah, publicity is good. Emacs is great. So when did you start to do? When did you start to do the video? Uh, a year ago? No, no I, I started the year. I decided that I wanted to do a um, uh, bankruptcy, a complete trial bankruptcy. Oh, yeah. So I started, from, I started from scratch and I started doing with the old mode uh, thing. And so I decided I wanted to record it as I go. So I think a lot of stuff that I did, I, I cover things that people, that other people already did. So, but the, I think the deeper one I didn't do. I, nobody else has done for sure. Um, right. But I, I think I think uh, there are some other things that I also covered that maybe other people didn't do. Right. And I think my whole uh, um, what's called it? Um, my whole idea is that people uh, people should get to see how. How somebody actually uses Emacs. It's more it's more showing me using Emacs daily than showing showing off packages. I mean you can read you wanna read the RTFM, right? If you want to see about packages. You don't need to watch videos for that. I think it's more to see that how, how people actually use Emacs and Yeah, exactly. Emacs. That's needed. So I call it I call it, show, call it uh, fat finger demos. So you see that I'm doing it live and it's a lot of mistakes. I see. Yes. 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 Exactly. Um, yeah. Exactly. Because usually, I mean, usually uh, there are a lot of videos that's uh, prepared and condensed. I'm, I'm, you know, so it's everything is in is perfect. You know, they just call command and everything works. So you know, yeah, I, I, yeah. I hear people on Reddit asking for you know, uh, you know, uh, real. Emacs expert, they they want to see you know Emacs experts using Emacs, not just you know demos of something. So um, yeah.
Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking at this video. This is Emacs is great, episode 40, part 2. And yesterday I was watching it, and in the end, so, um, you know, you guys can, uh, you know, watch this. So the URL is here. And the end, I uh, saw this. Um, so you wrote these uh, two functions um, in Emacs that, uh, first of all, you disabled, let's see, uh, different, you disabled the by direction. I, actually, I should do that. Um, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you don't use uh, a keyboard or Arabic, what what did you say? Oh 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 okay okay, I see. Uh, uh, there is okay. So so the variable name is BD display reordering. Set it to false. Uh, Neil, right? Okay, actually, let me do that. Let me just type it here quickly. BD, okay, uh, first of all, describe variable. So I get a variable name type for me. BD display reordering DIS uh, that. Okay, so I'm gonna have that and, uh, okay, hold on a second. New buffer. Set BD display real uh, Neo. So set is set. Oh, oh, I want to set to what? Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. I got it. Uh, right, okay, so let's do that. Set uh, default. Okay. Oh, uh, set default B display reordering, uh, uh, reordering to Neo. Then I got an error. It says setting constant. Wait. Uh, oh, set default. Is it? Uh, wait. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Uh, For place, like yeah. Uh, well, because like when you can use that to set a, a index in a array, like you know, you know, so it's the Emacs uh, call it place. You know, like any basically when you set, you know. Like when you set Q some variable, uh, uh, you know that variable uh, Emacs, uh, you know, at least people think of it as a place, and so that uh, set P can also be used to uh, set a. Uh, 
Oh, oh, you you want the white, you as right. So, so that P is predicate, I think. Like, yeah, like you know, they it came from uh, I think it from logic. It's like you know, predicate meaning like true or false. Okay, so I have these. Uh, let's. Uh, so I okay. So this is a good tip, everyone. So this set Q B D display reorder Neo, and a set set Q default. Yes. Um, Oh. Oh. Okay. So let me see. Uh, is is it in the video description? Uh, it could be, but I'm very really busy at work, so I'm not going to go so good with the description. So it might just say video description for the video description. I would I would have thought to do the other videos. And, well, right, and right, but I don't see the link to your uh, GitLab so, or. So, so just just look for my name in GitLab. GitLab dash is all right. Okay. GitLab use uh, Y-S-R-A-E-L, I think, D-O-V. Y-I-S-R-A-E-L-D-O-V. Okay, you found it. Yes. Um, so there should be emacs.d, yeah, somewhere, something like that. Emacs image somewhere. Okay, let me turn on JavaScript. Hey, uh, Dion, how is it going? Let's see how many people are watching. Four people. Okay. <laughs> that's no, no, that's not good. That's... No, you need, uh, <laughs> I, I need four. <laughs> Twitter? That's not going to help, you know. I, I need 4,000 viewers. <laughs> So any anyway so uh so I'm at your GitLab um so Emacs D but anyway so so here's a link uh guys you can uh check out um his code here uh, but go let's go back to YouTube and the code is right there uh you have the different BD display reordering on uh and I think you have a toggle yeah BD direction toggle so um. This would be useful uh, if you are. Uh, it would be useful if somebody that uses it. If you don't use it, you don't need it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so let me just paste it here. Uh, actually, let me create a new buffer. So yeah, herb rule. Okay, herb rule. That's interesting. Uh, let me save it here. So um. Okay, so that's one thing about herb rule. Uh, right to left, left to right. So, okay, okay. Let me ask you. So, do people? Uh, okay, maybe this question. How how many? I mean, do what? What's the popular languages over there? Uh, I mean, so would it be similar to USA? Uh, the, the official languages, I think, are people. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, wait. That's an interesting question too, but I was wondering about programming languages. Oh, what do you mean? Well, I mean like... In, no, no, not official, but I mean which one is popular in company, companies over there? Well, you know that, you know that PHP was, was uh, mostly developed here in Israel now. I see, I see. So, so PHP is... Then, then, then it's an Israeli company. Then it's what? Then it's an Israeli company. Oh, oh. And there's something that's funny if you you can get an error message that they forgot to translate from Hebrew to English. So if there's something that's called Tamay Mikudatay, sometimes you'll get an error message and people, you can do it, do it, you can do a search for it. Maybe I'll send you afterwards on the way. Then people ask, what is this? So people here in Israel know what that means. That means that you forgot to put uh, two colons. There's, some, there's a problem with two colons, but they didn't translate it. So you get the Hebrew error message. I see. Uh, okay, okay, PHP. Uh, PHP is awful, but it's not as bad as everything. 
Yeah, yeah. So, so um, uh, PHP, and obviously they use JavaScript a lot, a lot there, right? Yeah, everybody uses JavaScript. You can't get away from it. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> yeah. JavaScript probably has to be one of the worst languages there. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I was wondering. So when, when so when you guys code in let's say PHP PHP, do you um actually I mean are there people who use Hebrew for function names and and variable names? Are there people do that or? I, I, I hope not. I really hope not. <laughs> okay. I see. What about comments? Do people like use Hebrew in, when in comments? Yeah, I, I also hope not. That's uh, also a very bad thing to do. I uh, see. I, I, I very much don't like these type of things. I mean, the whole thing is that you want your code to be easy for people to use, to read and use. And also, most, I, I, the first thing I need to give a kind of a bummer, uh, a you know, introduction that I'm going to use the word Israeli only because it's something that you understand that mm. most people are familiar with, but it's not really, I don't like that word. And but that's for maybe it's a longer conversation. But most of the people here that live here think that they know English well, and they don't. Yeah, I see. <laughs> so it, it, uh, but I, I, everybody tries the, their best to write in English. I mean, they'll try and, if they hear a little bit of an accent, they'll try and talk to you in English, even when their English is completely incomprehensible. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, hey, great break the loop. Great to see you. So, yeah, we got a guest, and he is this guy uh, on my YouTube screen. Uh, use Israel Dove, <laughs> and we are talking about Hebrew, Hebrew stuff and coding. Uh, uh, coding. So, uh. I got some reverb. Yeah, uh, I think that's too bad. You know, something I have to find out how to do that, how to get rid of the reverb in uh, OBS. So, I, but I, I don't think I can, you know, I, I don't think I should try to change that because <laughs> that would break things down, you know. So I'm still running and the uh, uh, Israel is, you know, first time uh, joining me join me and we have uh, audio together so let me figure out you know how to do that and uh, uh, actually actually uh, use Israel uh, you you might know the answer anyway he, he showed me a, a program the riot um, uh, can can you talk about that program I think that's great uh, program that you know that Yeah, so yesterday it was asking me for a key, but I kind of just <laughs> closed the window. I should, uh, you know, use that. Nicer, but I don't have enough experience with it to recommend it. But 
what is the riot uh uh URL riot dot com or oh 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 okay I O T dot I M. Right. Oh, so, uh, right. Yeah. So I've been chatting with uh, uh, you yesterday on uh, Riot, and uh, it looks great. So, so they are actually using the uh, the Matrix is a new protocol or something. I see. How how do they call it? Like uh, matrix protocol, or or is it a name? I think I think it's a protocol. I think it's protocol. I, I don't. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, uh, okay. So. Because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm looking up. You know, maybe I'm trying to search it. You know, see what uh, it is. Matrix. I see. I see. Okay, so I've uh, we found this page on Wikipedia. Actually, they talk about it. Matrix dot org. Okay, uh, great. So uh, I'm gonna uh, read about this uh, offline. So uh, let's see. I see, and and you you mentioned uh, they also have like some kind of a forum, right? Like right, on on Riot, uh, like like a group chat for for for, for yeah. Emacs, for example. I see. It's a bit more complicated because you, to join the Emacs channel, you have to be, you have to uh, authorize your username, but you, you can for sure do it. I see. Yeah, yeah that's very cool. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so, I haven't been... There's so much other things you can do too. Like it, it can, uh, you can hook it up to uh, your GitHub so that when you get uh, pull request notifications, go to uh, show up in your Riot chat if you set up a group for like your, your company or for your project. You can get your GitHub notification for pull requests. So when merges happen, things like that. Uh, you can have it uh, uh, RSS feed also hooked up. So when you get a uh, there's new post on RSS feed, it goes into the chat. Uh, lots of very cool stuff. Yeah, uh, it is. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna. Uh, play more with it I'm gonna you know maybe look a little bit uh, so uh, riot let's see what else uh, so we got this matrix thing riot actually yesterday I didn't even read any of the documentation I just I just clicked the link you gave me so so I registered so you know I'm gonna read a bit about them Yeah. Like, if you want to do encryption with anything else, uh, so you go and try to tell your friends that don't, that don't use computers so well that uh, go send me encryption with PHP, with uh, PGP, send, send your PGP key. Uh, nobody knows what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, so let's see. So, 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 so um, So I'm looking. Uh, wait, wait. I'm looking at your. Let's go back. Should we? Okay. What What's our next topic? Let's pick some uh, another. <laughs> let's advance to our next topic. I'm looking at your YouTube videos. Should we go there or should we uh, talk about uh, different culture, like? Uh, one one a day uh, so far. One a day. Yeah. So I think maybe two three days a day you did you did one preparing. No, it was on I think it was a Friday. 
Oh, oh, yeah, 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 Two, yeah, a couple of days ago. It, it, it's the Western culture, and I was trying to think where the where is our culture, where does Jewish culture fit in, in for East or West? Is there something that you were saying, and saying, no, we fit here more? Is there something that you were saying, we're definitely not? Right. So, uh, about the Jewish culture, uh, you know, the Jewish people, actually, I never, I never, you know, quite understand, you know, to me, they are like, so I never got the concept, I mean, this, the, this, this seems to be a big political thing in, in USA, you know, I, so, you know, I, I, um, I spent most of my uh, adult life in USA, so often you will hear about, you know, Jewish or uh, something, you know, uh, you know, some political thing. Uh-huh. They don't know enough to talk about to say anything about it. I see. Um, I, 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 I'm kind of, uh, I don't want to say special, that's not the right word. Uh, we have, we do, most of us don't use the internet, and hmm. we are very secluded, and we don't try to convert people. We don't do so. Um, anybody that you start talking about that they start talking about the Jewish countries, they usually don't know what they're talking about. Uh, there was somebody on Mastodon, I wish I had the quote that I was talking to him about it, and uh, he said, I want to be Jewish, and what I say is Jewish is something like to be just and to be intellectual and other things. And I said, well, that everybody wants to be like that. Everybody wants to be just and do the right thing and be intellectual. That's not something special to Jewish people. Uh -huh. uh, so that uh, there's a lot of disconnect between what um, what I think most people know and what I guess the truth. What I would say is the truth. What, I, uh, what traditional Judaism would say is the truth. Okay, so uh, actually, so the the uh, Judea that that religion actually I don't know nothing about it. Uh, yeah, the, people don't. We don't. We don't. Like I said, we don't try to convert people. Right. Don't, don't kill people and you'll be okay. Right. So so we got um hold on a second. Let me uh so we got seven people watching now. So hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys, say something here. Hi uh hi guys. Type something here and you know just let me let you know let us know you are here and hey break the loop, how's how's going? <laughs> so uh Hey, uh, he says hi to you. Hi, Israel. So, uh, he, he, he's a uh, break the loop. That's his handle. Uh, he, yeah, so, um, so, 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 you know, guys, type, just type, uh, in the chat box, okay, your opinions or any questions or, uh, you know, whatever thoughts you come up. So, uh, you know, like we can, you know, I can see you and we can know, uh, where we are going. Uh, I want to tell you that now that uh, you should know that uh, YouTube has an algorithm that blocks anti-Semitic comments. Oh, uh, that that what? That censor censor? They they censor anti-Semitic comments automatically. Uh, so oh, I see. It, it happened to be once the one that one or two got through. Uh, it it happens a lot, and I, I wish that they didn't censor it. I mean, it's something that's true. It's something that happens. And, I think it doesn't, doesn't help anybody, I think. Right. So, yeah, 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 I, I, I prefer that way as well, you know, I don't think, you know, uh, you know, I think, you know, I don't, you know, I don't know for sure, but I, my impression is that, you know, U.S., um, well, they, they censor a lot, a lot more today, but it used to be, I mean, before, to, you know, before, let's say, the uh, past 10 years before it's uh uh it's mostly ruled by cons conservatives and there's uh, also a lot of cens censorship <laughs> but i mean even yeah. what but i, I, I think that's a, there's a difference between why conservatives censor and why the not conservatives censor is for different reasons yeah yeah you mean like today no i think forever i i for me I, we the i uh, you posted something on Mastodon uh, yesterday something and I said you should put a content warning, right? 
Yeah. Okay, for me, I don't want to see those type of things. It's not that I think that you don't have a right to tell you, do whatever you want. Uh huh. I would like to be notified because, me, from my belief, I don't want to see those type of things. I would make that the choice to say, but I don't want to see that. So, and on my master level, when I have on the computer, I, I don't have to show any of those pictures. For some reason, on my phone, I don't, it doesn't respect that. Yeah. I think with conservatives, conservatives they, they try to do things to protect. People from things that they might not want to, might not that they find offensive, but do you have another reason? Is it, it's not for me, you know. Right. Uh, but I think that the other side tries to censor things because they want to uh, close down conversation. Yeah, that's yeah, that's different. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, but I, I'm perfectly. It, it, somebody sent me anti-Semitic comments. On one of my other, I have another channel that I talk about Nazis now. Uh-huh. And somebody sent me a anti-Semitic comment, and I, I was very, I was mad that uh, YouTube took it down. And uh, yeah, that, that people love the people like that out there. I mean, he didn't say any things that I would say was profanity that I think would be things that I, I, I don't. And it wasn't a nice thing that he said, but it, it, it's not. It wasn't profanity. I, I don't. I don't think that they should have censored it. Uh, uh, it's a stupid opinion. So they. I think that people should be aware that there are people that have stupid opinions. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So uh, you got two questions. Break the loop of the Israel. So break the loop asks you, um, what programming languages do you use most often at work? That's one question. The other question is also, are there any technologies or software that you are excited? about learning in the future um, okay that's two for now and the third question is do you like uh, better about github or uh, gitlab oh that's a stupid question <laughs> that, yeah uh, of course i like gitlab uh, gitlab is microsoft i do like microsoft <laughs> so I, I grew up uh, i i i run computers in uh, uh, with Microsoft, there's a Microsoft and Fuzz and there's Flash Dots and everything. Microsoft, Microsoft is the worst thing in the world. Uh, GitHub is, uh, is Microsoft. You can't use that. GitLab, the, the, these are on the side. GitLab is a much better. Well, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so, so let me cha- challenge you. But what what if uh, Microsoft bought GitLab, you know, tomorrow? That might happen. GitLab, GitLab is open source. Huh? So, I see. They can't make it proprietary. Right. It's already, it's already, it's already open source. It's already a, a license. I can use it for whatever I want. Most of it. Most of it. Not everything. There's things that they're so proprietary. Yeah, but what? Okay. Everything, everything that I use is open source on GitLab. You can. Uh, all the things that you need, pretty much, on GitLab are open source. Right. But what happens if, you know, but. Yeah, I know what you mean. But, but open source, you can't make much money. I mean, the company cannot survive. I mean, like you said, you can fork it, right? So, you know, there's no worry about Microsoft taking over. You, you, you just fork it your own. But in the same way, you know, if GitLab is successful, you know, they, they, they make some money, they can, you know, survive. I, you know, or some big corporation, you just, just fork it and, and create better marketing. You know, they have money, they put marketing, and, you know, they just take your code and they copy, you know, you know because it's open source. Then, then, the GitLab, you know, will you know shrink and die. So what what do you say to that? Maybe, maybe the, Git, the GitLab.com can shrink and die, but I think that the GitLab, the the code itself is. Yeah, but now it's run. Yeah, I know what you mean. But yeah, but now it's supposedly it's run by this evil big uh, giant corporation. They just take over your. I mean, because it's open source, they just take the code. But they have you know money and resources, so they run marketing. And they become like centralized, you know, you know. So it's like you know, your open source, you know, the the merit, you know, kind of like they they took it, you know, they because it's open source, they can do what whatever they want, and they make money, and they can't do whatever they want because there's a license that was released with a license, so they can't prevent other people from using it. So yeah, but. Yeah, but but the thing is, they are making money. This evil, you know, corporation. Why are the people who wrote the code, you know, 
you know, or contributed, they, you know, don't make money. <laughs> the, 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 the guy who make money is this evil empire, you know. Why are we so... Yeah, okay. 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 Okay, yeah, okay. I I uh I get that point. So what about the other questions? Which language uh which what programming language do you use most often at work? That's PHP, right? Fifteen years. Wow. Okay. I I I actually don't think PHP is you know bad that bad. Well, you know, in among hackers, a lot of people think PHP sucks. You know, it's one of the most ridiculous language. Okay. Yeah. I see. Basically, it's a, a kind of their version of PHP with us. Uh, I see. So, uh, is that popular at all, Hackland? Because I haven't. Okay, so uh, the other question. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, the other question is: Are there any technologies or software that you are excited about learning in the future? Second, so here is a video. Uh, uh, Israel sent it to me. I I watched it yesterday. It's funny. So it shows this bear head talking. Uh, let me play. Uh, ten second. Let me play ten second here. Okay, go. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, so we you, see. You, you know, it's driving me crazy because I, I always watch YouTube on uh, two times speed. Uh huh. Whenever I watch it regularly, it drives me crazy. That means everybody's talking and they're taking so much time. They're speaking so slowly. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a good point. You know, I because. Because since I, you know, I, I, I watch my own videos, you know, every time I do one, I watch it, and uh, I notice that, you know, it's... I never, I never watch mine. Never. <laughs> okay. Why not? I mean, I mean... I don't, I, I don't really Yeah, I know, it, it's, it's, uh, but sometimes it's good to have, it's, it, it works like a feedback, you know, you can, like, See yourself, and you and you you can some you know you can sometimes see that. Everybody, there's there's a there's a thing in 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 Jewish uh, I don't want to use my gender. That everybody everybody is biased towards himself. Right. If you listen to yourself, you're gonna try and uh, yeah. You, you can't look at yourself objectively. So I rely on people giving the comments. Uh, oh. Yeah. So okay, we got this way of talking, and, and actually, there's another question. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay, so this way, I want to uh, uh, I want to ask you uh, about this because you mentioned the neural network, and and also I wonder how do you do it. How do you uh, did you do the bear? But let me uh, just um, read the the other question here. So uh, break the loop asks. Israel, do you have any problems with pen while typing? Do you use ergonomic keyboard or any other solutions to help prevent alternative? Do I have any problems with what? Uh, uh, pen typing, like hand problems. Pain? Yeah, pen. Yeah. Uh, do you use ergonomic keyboards or any other solution to help prevent or alleviate pain? I think. Really nice. Right. Uh, <laughs> okay. Right. So, so you, but you are using a mechanical keyboard, right? So can you like? <laughs> okay, people donate to uh Israel, uh, donate a uh, keyboard. So can you like? Do you guys or do many people they are uh, like come to U.S. I mean, can you guys like come back or you know come to U.S. work here? You know work you know because a lot Chinese or Mexicans do that. Like we make money here. Then we come back and you know live in China and spend you know uh, because it's much cheaper uh, there. Do people in Israel do that? Uh, uh, there could be. Uh, I know a lot of people that would 
is there one trip on Los Angeles that left Israel to, to go there. Uh, I live in Israel because of religious reasons. So oh. I don't have any interest in going back to the U.S. And, uh, but because U.S. is not so good in that way, or...? Okay. Not because of, we're in the land of Israel. There's a difference between the land of Israel and what they call now the state of Israel. The state of Israel is a modern thing that uh, doesn't have any any connection to religion at all. And the land of Israel is a place that we believe that God said that Jews are supposed to live. And if you live here, you're doing uh, a good thing. So that's why that's why most of us religious. I see. Okay, so about the bear. So how how is this? Uh, can you like explain? So how 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 did you do it? And there's a there's a program called Face Rate that you can do it. I actually I paid for it on Steam, and it doesn't work right on Linux. Uh, you can get it running with Proton, but not hundred percent. And so that one I did with. The, the version on Android works okay, and but basically what it does is it has facial recognition software. I see. That, uh, I, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that it, it can recognize where your eyes are, where your mouth is, where your eyes are looking. Yeah. And then from that it builds a uh, a rig, and it puts onto that a 3D model onto the rig of your face. And for me it doesn't work so well because I wear glasses and I have a beard, so you just see a lot of the times the beard is like stuck to this thing. Okay. If anybody watches my my other channel where I do reviews of major stuff, you can see I there I show my beard. I see. Right. Okay. Uh. Okay. That's about the bear. Um. Okay. What 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 about the culture? I mean, uh, what things you um. Were thinking what, uh. So uh, let's see, U.S. culture. Uh. Well, right. I remember you talked about ancestors. Oh yeah. Yeah, you said that. You said Eastern is very. Uh, yeah. With yeah. So you remind me what exactly you said. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I was. I was saying. Yeah. The. 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 The Asian. The, well, Chinese. Uh, culture. You. You. Uh. Respect ancestors and respect your elders that's that's one of the fairly core element of uh chinese uh kind of you know philosophy or you know way of life culture so you always respect you know yeah that's also jewish when i say jewish i'm talking about jewish traditional jewish five thousand years history jewish that's also that's one of the things that we talk about there's we have things that are commandments, which are things that you have to accept because even though it doesn't make sense, you do it. But one of the examples of something that does make sense is that you have to respect your parents. Everybody should be respecting their parents and respect their elders. There's a story that I think is interesting to tell that, and I don't remember who they said it on. I think they actually said it about different people. And, but the story is important. It doesn't matter who, really. And that there was somebody who was riding on a plane, uh, a Jewish guy, real religious Jewish guy, like, like, like me with the long beard and he was all rabbi, a real rabbi, not with, you know, with other people who might call a rabbi. And he saw that all his kids were coming, they were, they were giving him a lot of honor. And, uh, I'm translating from Hebrew, so it sounds very funny sometimes. And uh, so somebody that's not, not Jewish came up to him and he said, uh, I don't believe how this is happening. And, and I see all your kids are giving you honor and giving you all this stuff. With my grandkids, they always spit on me and they, they, they treat me like garbage. And, uh, how is it that your grandkids are treating you like this, and my grandkids are treating me like this? And he says, we believe that, uh, that every generation that goes, there's one that's generation that's further from, uh, from, from uh, when God gave us the commandments. And what you believe is that, that man came from monkeys, so every generation, the, the further generations are more closer to monkeys. So why should he honor you? Oh yeah. Uh, 
the further generations are more away from monkey or Right. Okay, I see what you mean. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but what? But, but what about the science aspect? I mean, well, that's kind of more scientific oriented thinking, right? I see. Um, what about, I mean, so in Israel, so you live there, there's a lot of wars, right, with, with the neighbors, I mean, yeah. so is it... Yeah, so it's pretty, it's pretty dangerous, though. isn't it? Right. So, so would you be able to describe? So, what's go? I mean, I, I, like, I have no idea what's you know what's the Middle East, uh, situation. I mean, so why they, like, would you be able to describe? So why, yeah, uh, you know, people they are fight. Uh, you know, what why is a big. I see. The, the, uh, dis a dispute on I inheritance. Don't say anything that YouTube will ban us, okay?
Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, like I, I, I really have like, <laughs> I'm pretty ignorant about the the whole issue because you know because um, you know I'm Chinese. So... <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. It's not a strongly typed it's language. Not a, it's not a strongly typed language. You mean natural? What do you mean? <laughs> what? I mean the, the definition. The definition of the country is dynamically typed. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So. Uh. What else? We've been going for one hour. Okay, so, okay, so, yeah, I, right, I, I, I got one, so let me know what you think. So, um, so, so, so I think that the Western philosophy, uh, culture or philosophy, uh, or Western world in general, that they, their thought are in general, like, they, they are more focused on, uh, individual freedom, on justice, on uh, materialist, materialistic worldview, or you know, or logic, and, and also logic, logic and math, you know. So uh, let me. So so individualism, freedom, justice, uh, logic and math, kind of you know uh, that. Uh, so uh, as opposed to uh, uh, Chinese Asian, which we don't focus on any of these uh, concepts and democracy, you know, Western also. Well, well, because for example, there is no because in in general the ch uh, Chinese tradition they uh, they don't um, they don't award. I mean, the society do not have high regards for uh, craftsmen or mathematician or logicians. Like like you are the low. If you if you are you know mathematician or logician or, or craftsman, you are kind of the low. Um, very low uh, respect or kind of in a society like we don't uh, it's not something we elevate you know we respect you know uh, it's like that so I mean yeah but so Chinese philosophers they are not based on logic at all they you know not like the Greek you know Arist Aristotle, or, you know, whatever, or Plato, or nothing like that. They came what? Uh, oh, oh, after you guys. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. So I. So what? Yeah. I. I, I didn't know. No. Uh, I like to know. Uh, but so anyway. Um. Uh. Yeah. So I was saying, you know, so the philosophers in, you know, Confucius, for example. We don't when they discuss philosophy, it's more about uh, like things like social norms. I mean, they don't use logic at all. I mean, also it's because of the Chinese language. There's no logic. <laughs> this is like in Western, you know, society. When you talk, when you give a lecture, or when you debate, you know, even you have the word debate. That that almost like doesn't exist. So in in, in uh, Chinese. So what I'm saying is that the Chinese culture, you you kind of you don't have kind of the logic or reasoning or rationality kind of concept. Uh, so that's why, for example, let me let me give you an example quickly. 
for example, when you hear, you know, Chinese style or, you know, uh, Zen or, you know, you sometimes hear that in programming communities. So it's all, always all kind of roundabout, you know, whatever they say is you can have 100 interpretations, you know, it's kind of like that, yin and yang, you know. So Chinese, you know, so, so do you see what I'm saying? Um, it's like that. So, so I think that I, I understand that I also have the question that I know that there is a lot of, I, I, I don't know, I've heard that there's a lot of things like, um, what do you call it, affirmative action now in universities that they try to give less, less uh, places to Asian people because they are better at math and better at technological things. How, how do you explain that they're better at technological things that require a lot of logic and a lot of math if you say that that's not important. Well, we, um, well, I, if I can say, I guess the Chinese culture, we are more strict with our children. Uh, I mean, I mean, the, the, I mean, it's not, I mean, they are great mathematicians in, in, in China and, and, you know, history of math, some, some great things are from China, but so uh, so it's not, and and also there are a lot, you know, great engineering in China. You know, his no. Uh, no, no, no. The uh, the Jewish word that means uh, keep going. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So 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 what I'm saying is like the Chinese culture in general, and the 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 way people think, the the culture, the philosophy is that we don't. We don't, it's not like Western, like we do not emphasize or bring out or, or, or focus on, you know, logic, reasoning, rationality. But even, but despite that, of course, we do engineering, you know, we still do, you know, astronomy, engineering. How do you do engineering without logic and reasoning and math? How do you do it without that? Well, you do. I think mean, you, you do have. You obviously you have to have. You know, math is a very logical thing. But I mean, I don't. Maybe it's hard to explain. But you, I mean, we don't. Um. Okay. So uh, maybe it's, uh, how do you explain this? Um, I, I you, 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 I'm talking to you. you, you you're very. Uh... We're having a very rational, logical discussion. Right, I know, I know what you're saying. You're not, you're not talking in, uh, what's it called, uh, in uh, mysticism. You're not talking about... Right, uh, right, right. You're not, you're not screaming at me. I mean, you're listening to what I say. You're fine with logic. You, uh, I, 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 I 100% don't agree with you that you say that the Eastern culture doesn't respect logic. I, I think that's not true. No, no, no. It's I mean, definitely, it's it's there. I mean, so the 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 issue is I'm not able to, uh, I'm I'm not able to show you exactly what I mean. I mean, it's well, okay, maybe it's like this. You know, like the way we are arguing. I mean, uh, you know, talking about this subject right now. You are being <laughs> extremely logical. Like you are chasing me. You know, like I'm saying. You know this. No, and you are saying, you know, but, but they, they have logic, otherwise how can you do it, you know? Yeah, I, under, I get what you mean. Uh, I get... Logic, right? So what, what are you saying is not logic? That, that's what I don't understand. What is not logic? You're saying that there's something else that's important that's not logic. What is not logic? What is the thing that's important? How do you have rational discussion? How do you talk about things without logic, without reason, without, uh, without, uh, I, I know what you mean, but we don't. I mean, we don't. That that's the thing. I mean, so this is about culture and thinking in general. I mean, the the way you perceive things. Yeah, I, I mean, it doesn't mean you don't have logic. It doesn't mean when you do math, you throw away logic because you throw away logic, you cannot do math. You cannot you cannot have engineering because engineering everything is you know very everything is physics. You know, materialistic. You know, you have to. Uh, do exactly the way to you know to engineer, but but the thing is, what I'm saying is that that's, is that, that, that's another point, but that's a completely different topic. Not true. Engineering, you don't have to be exact. Science, you need to be exact. Engineering, you don't have to be exact. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So um, so you don't see what I mean at all, or maybe. Uh, Uh, 
about. I, I, I'm not. I, No, you don't. Well, I mean, what, what do you mean? <laughs> your, parents, your, your parents could never argue about a, a topic and use logic and use reasoning and use uh, uh, intelligence. Everything is mysticism. The, 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 opposite, the opposite of logic is illogical. So no, 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 yeah, I know what you mean, but no, 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 no. I, I, I kind of, I, I think I see what you mean, but... But I think I think that illustrates the point. Like when we are talking about, uh, you know, we are when we are talking about this thing, you you are chasing me on logic. You know, you know, you are saying, you know. Um. Anyway, so I I don't know. Anyway. Uh, what you mean but that's not the uh like we're talking about like the general culture you, you know of, of western society and eastern society you you, you are saying uh, describing specific you know like today you know a lot of people are foolish you know they don't uh, no i i'm not saying that people are foolish i'm saying that people don't want to use right right right, right. right. Okay, I, 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 right, I, I think I uh, see what you mean. So, so maybe, maybe that is because that, that's a problem with being too logical. You, you get into this situation of becoming illogical at all, maybe. But any, anyway. Yeah, so I think we've been going on for an hour and 14 minutes. So maybe, uh, Hey informatic, uh, hey informatic. So maybe uh, is there anything else you like to say? Me, I I I could go on this topic for a long time. Uh, I I think I, I think I think you are wrong. Okay. And I'm not I'm not ashamed to say it, but I think you are wrong. I think that Eastern culture is much more logical than the Western culture. Uh, I would say that. Uh, what do you call Russian culture? Russian culture is it Eastern or, or Western? Uh, probably not neither. Probably neither. Not neither. Yeah, neither. Okay. Yeah, not. No. And and also we excluded. You know, I I haven't been uh thinking about Middle East. You know, your country's culture. So anyway, I I think we can. That's something that's something I tried to make explicit at the beginning. Mm -hmm. that Jewish culture, traditional Jewish culture, and what people do around me in this country. Mm -hmm. I see.
in Israel? Okay. We uh yeah, that's interesting. I don't, yeah, we I think uh maybe we can talk about that uh uh next. Yeah. So let me ask hey, hey informatic, how is going? So I think we 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 going to wrap up uh hey, informatic. Any, any questions? Uh we got five guys watching. So anything else? Uh Israel, anything you want to say? Uh, I need to say that you need to do uh, better advertising next time. We got one of five guys. <laughs> five guys is good. I mean, uh, my channel doesn't have that many people, you know, watching. <laughs> but, but we need to do, we need, we need to do some kind of uh, serious advertising. Yeah. More yeah. Uh, so, other than that, uh, uh, nobody has any questions for me, then uh, I, I can go on arguing with you about this. Until, until tomorrow, but uh, I, I don't think that's going to be interesting to people. Okay, yeah. So ask them if they have, maybe ask them if they have any other questions for us, and oh. they do a little break, and so to speak. Okay, so the, um, let's do this again then. Let's, you know, we, yeah, we, we, we chat offline, and uh, maybe we'll do this again. So thank you for coming by, and uh, see you guys. Bye. Bye.